Um, yeah, basically, it's something we've all wanted to do for a long time, and we didn't really know what charity to to do it with or where to go. To be honest, um, and a friend of ours was involved last year, and he was working with myself and Ronan, and he, after a 15-minute conversation with him, we were completely convinced that this is the right charity to go with. You know, um, so we got the two boys on on board as well, and yeah, so we're pretty sure in a short space of time that we're going to with the Nine Mellon Township Trust. Yeah. Uh, we did two events. The first event was a tea party with 400 people. We got entertainment sponsored. Um, we got 6,000 euros out of that. And then we, we did a uh, quack fest, which was a big kind of one day family fun day where we had uh, a series of duck races uh, in our local uh, area. And uh, we also had um, some music there in the night. Lots of entertainment for kids uh, and a charity auction as well. And we raised about 11,000 uh, out of that. That was a uh, great crack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the two events were cleared up, but just the, all the money was, was got with the two events, so it wasn't, wasn't too much to do, but it was a struggle at times. <laughs> <laughs> a few fights. few yeah, fights in that, fight but, here, there, but <laughs> we, we got, got there in the finish anyway, so yeah. and we're here. And I suppose the main thing is we had, we had great crack doing the fundraising like yeah. and as the biggest thing is we couldn't get over the goodwill and the generosity of the people like we rarely had to ask for money um, people just went up to us, anyone that met us in the street anything like that just handing us 20 euro here and there and especially on that day the, the family fun day was just we were completely overwhelmed by it. The, the, the goodwill and generosity I suppose people in our local area probably weren't used to four local lads going away doing something like this so it is actually unusual enough um, in, our, in our own area so I suppose maybe that's that was a lot to do with it. You know it, it does bring it home to you here when you how lucky we are at home when, when you see um, people here uh, you know the conditions that they, they live in you know. It just gives you a lot of perspective on and makes you appreciate things a lot more at home, right? Like you make, we'd be complaining about the smallest things at home, about the house being too warm or too cold. Yeah. Or, you know, little small things are. It's a bit surreal when you just it is, walk yeah, into the shack yeah. and you just see how small it is. It's just gobsmacking, really.